Samir's on the operating table because his leg was injured in an airstrike. But this is no ordinary operation theater. It's hidden underground so it can survive air raids. I'm afraid when the regime targets the hospital, I lost a member of my family in an airstrike. It's known as the cave hospital in northern Syria. Doctors are keeping its location secret for fear of further attacks by government jets. They showed us photos after some of the 135 airstrikes which have targeted their hospital. Medical facilities and medical workers nowadays uh, are far from being working in an ideal situation. They're suffering all sorts of challenges. One of the main challenges has to do with the insecurity they are witnessing. Not only it has been ongoing for a long time, but at the same time it, doesn't, it, it, it mostly doesn't stop. This is what remains of many hospitals above ground. It took months of digging 500 square meters under a mountain to convert tunnels into treatment rooms. Workers then plastered the walls and placed sandbags at the entrance for increased security. This is the doctor who began the project. He was also killed in an airstrike last year and his colleagues continue to face challenges. The biggest problem is the airstrikes which target civilians. This hospital is theoretically safe but we expect anything from the government and its destructive weapons. Making the hospital safe is just one of the many challenges. Most hospitals in opposition areas suffer from a lack of medicine and other vital supplies. There are two emergency exits in case of any attack. Being underground brings the constant challenge of maintaining the flow of fresh air so doctors and patients don't suffocate. We face difficulties such as ventilation and shortages of medical supplies after securing ourselves in a cave inside a mountain. Because Syria's healthcare system has been largely destroyed by six years of war, Preventive care units and health centers are non-existent. Potentially fatal diseases are common because of a lack of vaccines. Healthcare is being used as a weapon of war in Syria. Doctors say targeting hospitals means denial of treatment and the only option to save lives is going underground. Osama bin Javed Al Jazeera, Kaziantep.